What's up, everybody? This is Afro Joe here doing a video about Smokey Joe Frazier and Heavy D, the two people we lost this year. Uh, it's kind of sad. You probably wonder why I'm playing the theme song to a living color. And the reason why is Heavy D performed this song for the sketch comedy show in Living Color, and uh, he actually did a song for Mad TV. And, uh, and one thing about Heavy D was he, when he first came out, he came out in the late 80s and he performed Chill. Or if y'all ain't know who the hell Heavy D the boys was, he ain't lost something. But I'll tell you this, man, this brother did a lot, man. He performed, he was a rapper, producer, on his own record label. He's a family man too. If y'all ever, see, like I said, if you ever grow, grew up in the '90s, man, to see him on that show called Rod, that was on. He was a show on Fox, but he was on that show. He guest the parents, and he was on other shows. He acted in the movie Life. He was in the. He was in a movie called Life. He was in the show Tracy Morgan Show, and it's kind of sad to see that he's dead and gone. And we just, like I just saw him a few weeks ago, I saw him a few weeks ago on uh, Law & Order SVU, and plus him on the BET Awards, because y'all remember, he lost all that weight, and then he gained it back, and it was kind of sad for him to go down like that, and, and it was kind of sad to see that, because he was a great man, he was great, he was a great rapper and producer and actor, did some good, did great work. And, uh, you probably want to say, what about Smokey Joe? Well, Smokey Joe was the, I'm going to say this, man. I wasn't a big boxing fan, but I knew the greatest. Like, not personally, but I knew the greatest. Like, Smokey Joe Frazier, Muhammad Ali, because, you know, Smokey Joe was the only motherfucker that could knock Muhammad Ali on his ass. And he did. He whipped that ass. And he was, he was the only one. He was the only one that could lay out Muhammad Ali. He was the only one that could do that. I said, y'all probably say, yep, yep, you're right about that. He was the only one that didn't do that shit, man, because you know, in history, Muhammad Ali was that motherfucker. What was that catchphrase? Muhammad Ali say, flow like a butterfly, stain like a bee. And he used to throw them. He used to stain them bees. He used to stain like a bee until he got in the ring with Smoking Joe. Smoking Joe got in that ring with him, man. Smoking Joe landed that it one good hit, and he took him out. He took him out. See, you see him right there. I'll show you the picture where he took him. Like, cause you see the pictures. Like, oh, you, you got the picture smoking Joe. Fight Muhammad Ali. This is the picture where smoking Joe knocked Muhammad Ali on his ass. So Muhammad Ali talked all this shit. Smoking Joe then took his ass out. But like I said, it's sad to see the two, two great people have passed away this year because of what happened. Because Smoking Joe died from lung cancer, not lung cancer, but he died from cancer. And Heavy D, uh, to me, they said they said they don't know how he died, but he said he had difficulties of breathing. It was hard for him to breathe. To me, that sounded like he had a heart attack. What? To me, he had a heart attack or asthma attack. And that's how it is. And, uh, and it's sad to see the one of the greatest men on earth has passed. One, both of them, these great men has passed away from health problems. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I'm gonna tell y'all this: if you got a family history where y'all have bad health problems, bad health problems, go get checked out. Go get checked out. Cause that's kind of sad that we lose more and more people from cancer, heart attack, stroke, high blood pressure, diabetes every day. Not just blacks, but whites too. Because you know, more blacks are dying from strokes, heart attacks, and cancer. But mostly high blood pressures and heart attack. And mostly black folks die from uh, high blood pressure heart attacks and strokes. So get checked out, man. Definitely get checked out.
like diabetes too. What a, I hate to see two great guys die like that, man. Because like I said, if you ain't grew up in the nineties, knowing who the hell was fat, uh, Heavy D, Heavy D and the, and the boys, man, y'all know shit. If y'all ain't seen Heavy D's work, then y'all missed out on a lie. Y'all missed out on a lie because he was he was great. Actor, singer, man, cause his brother was doing it. And Smoking Joe, he was the greatest, man. Not to be the only person tonight, Muhammad Ali on his ass. Make him think twice to ever step back in the ring with him. But, like I said, man, if you like what I got to say, man, leave a comment, leave a video response to this video. Or, if you don't like what I got to say, you can kiss my ass and move on because I don't want your bullshit. Don't want it. Don't. Thank y'all for listening to what I had to say, and I'm sorry that I took so long to do this video. But I'm gonna I'm start two people, other people in this. There was a radio host down here in Tennessee named uh, Pastor T.J. Graham. He passed away the the, the other day from a uh, stroke. He was a radio host. He was a good radio host. He used to do good radio on. Uh, he used to host a show on uh, WVLL, WVLL down here he passed away the other day and uh one more person i forgot the creator's name but the creator of family circus has passed away i don't know how he passed away but i know he passed away too so let's remember these people right now let's remember and pray for their families please not like that thank y'all holla at me.